Hello, Stampers. I hope you are all having a fantastic week. My name is Colleen Magnus, and today you are taking a lunch break and you are creating with Colleen. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! and I come to you live every Wednesday. Um, so you can take a break during your day for lunch and I will create. So today I want to um, just say again, welcome, happy hump day. You are halfway through the week. You're even halfway through the day. And what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be wrapping up our series that I have been doing all March with outdoor, coastal, ocean type stamp sets that we have. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the retiring bundle that is called Seascape. And this is an amazing, fun bundle. So I'll give everybody just a minute to come on. They, they're popping on now, probably grabbing a, a drink and a sandwich. Um, but I'll give you all a few minutes. I'll try to keep an eye on my comments. But we are going to jump right in today. So again, I'm showing you the Seascape bundle. This actually is a bundle that is retiring. Um, so what that means is it will not be, as, be with us for long. So basically, the retiring list is out and um, they're going. I mean, we already have stamp sets that are sold out. I did check, this bundle is available. And what's really cool is not only is the bundle available, but it is on sale. If you get my newsletter, you know you have heard of the Savings Are in Bloom. That's where you can get 20% off the mini stamp and cut emboss machine, regularly $60, it's on sale for 48. And they have 13 different bundles that you can get at 20% off. So this is one of the bundles. So it's actually cheaper to buy it now because it is normally $46.75. It is on sale for $41.50. So let me see who's joining me here today. I see a couple people coming on. Hey, Steph. Um, and we have Peggy. Who was it? Somebody just scrolled down. Once I go down, I can't see. I have Sharon and Gwen. Um, I miss somebody. Give out a shout if you haven't heard your name. But uh, let me tell you where you can find this awesome bundle. This is on page 12 of the annual catalog. And it is a bundle I have had, and sadly, as a demonstrator, you get such a good discount on all the products. I have so many products I had not used it yet. And I thought, I am not letting this slip away. The Seascape bundle is a stamp set in dies. And it, as I told you, it is on sale only through tomorrow. The Savings Are in Bloom, um, promotion ends March 31st. So you can get this for $41.50. Let me show you all about it. So you get this beautiful set called Seascape. It's really cute. We all live on the coast. We all love these type of sets. And then you get dies with it also. So with the dies, there's really only four dies in here, but they are fantastic. So I didn't make a cheat sheet, but with the dies you have this beautiful koi fish, awesome seahorse, this really neat coral, and then they, you have the fish, but they give you two fish, so you can cut them out at the same time. So you have your fish, let me show you these. This is, and actually this is, um, it is in color, the current in colors that are not retiring, this is a shimmery vellum. I don't know if you have seen it. It's in the back of the catalog. You need to go find this. It is gorgeous. And I can always give a shout out where it is. But this is shimmery. So this makes great coral. And what's cool about the way the dies cut is they cut into the paper or you can snip them out. So here you have the seahorse. And see how it is in here? But a couple snips, it'll pop right out. And the same with this beautiful fish. So what's cool about the fish, if you wanted to leave it here on the paper, you could just take a piece of designer paper mounted on some solid cardstock. Um, this is the Waves of the Ocean and Pacific Point. And if you put it on here, let me see if you can see that, you will see that beautiful designer paper through the fish. So there is a lot you could do. You could put foil paper underneath here, anything like that. Um, so it's great like that. But you're gonna see, I'm gonna snip it out and use it on my card. So let me clear my place here. I'll give you some dimensions. We are also gonna be exploring 
uh, Stampin' Up! has different masks. And I'm gonna show you those. Two of them are retiring, the other one's in a mini catalog, but they, are, they too are amazing. So let me give you your dimensions. Okay, for the dimensions on the card, you need a piece of 11 by four and a quarter um, shaded spruce. You need a four and a quarter by three and a half inch shaded spruce. Gorgeous color, I might add. You need a piece of a five and a quarter by four inch basic white. A five inch by three and three quarters basic white. And this smaller one is for the inside. Then you need a piece of the four by three and a quarter inch basic white to go on top. So I still see lots of people popping in. Hey, Mary, Julie, Miss Gwen, welcome. We are creating a fun card. Would you like to see that card? I know you would, let me show you. This is a card that I'm creating for you today using the Seascape bundle. So I'm gonna show you um, how to create this card. These are Stampin' Up! masks. These are amazing. We're gonna show you those. And then that is on the inside. Just thought you, thought you should know how wonderful you are. So with this card, as I was telling you, I am using the Stampin' Up! mask. Now Stampin' Up! in the catalog, they basically have, and they're so hard to see. I mean, I can see where you might not have seen them before. On page 128 of the annual catalog, these are the Stampin' Up! masks. They're item number five and number six. So you can take our decorative paste and you can fill that mask in and it leaves a raised image where the mask is. Or you could just use your blending brushes and color that in. But they are great. So let me show you which ones. The one that I'm gonna to use today, and I did a little sample so you could see each of the masks. Now these are $8, they are retiring, so remember they're only available while supplies last. And this is called Plenty of Patterns. So your mask looks like this, it's just a thin piece of plastic. And the designs you get in this one, the um, Plenty of pla Patterns, you get this beautiful one, and this is great. The masks are six by six in this one, um, and you can cut these designs apart. And what's also great, you could use different colors. You could do like a yellow in the middle, go to a pumpkin pie, to a poppy parade. These are gorgeous. So this is just great medallion designs. Then you have this beautiful scallop. And you have this really cool geometric type pattern. And then you have these sweet little leaf and flowers. So you get four masks and this plenty of patterns. And I'm gonna hold on to this one because I will be using that. Then we also have one that's called basic pattern decorative mask. And there are four in here also. And these have been reduced to $4.80. So with this one, I did smaller pieces but these are the masks in here. You have this really cool, like a wooded type design. This one here is beautiful. Some dots, you can always use dots. And you have this design here. So it's just a great way, if you don't have the designer paper or if you wanna use a, just a different type of background, um, it's great to add this to your cards, because then you can make it any color you want. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Karen. So glad you're here. I always love seeing your name pop up too, along with everybody else. So there is one other set of masks, and I am gonna wait to the end, and I'm gonna demonstrate them for you, but I'll show them to you real quick. These are in the mini catalog, and the mini catalog actually goes to June 30th. So, um, this, this stencil is in here, and I think the stencils just get overlooked because you don't really see them that much, but this one is definitely amazing. Page 65, and it's called Butterflies and Flowering Layering Decorative Masks. So this is, um, there's six masks, it's $10, and although this will be available through June 30th, just remember the closer you get to June 30th, it's only while supplies last, and I did not see any stencils in the new catalog. I took a quick look, so who knows, they may be hiding, but I don't think so. Because I would have loved for this to carry over. 
So this is one of the designs. Beautiful, sweet flowers. Well, let me see. I just looked at my screen. You can't see that good. And I kind of like when I sponge it. I like the light and dark areas. Um, so that's why it is like that. But I do love our stencils. Then this one is kind of vines. Great for plants or just a, a neat background. This one is very pretty too. But what's cool, they then have a butterfly stencil. And this is what I will demonstrate when we're all done with the seascape card. You have a stencil that um, you can do use it for an open butterfly. And then this layers on top, which will give you a look like this. And of course, you know, it's, it's I don't know, just gorgeous. What can I say? Really, really cool. Then you have flowers and by using two tones, you can use two stencils together to put this um, flower together. And then of course you have other pieces for the leaves and those there. So I will be coming back to visit this, the butterflies and flowers layering dies at the end of the video. So with this card here, I already gave you the measurements and I will post them on the Facebook page shortly after. But first thing I'm gonna do is I have this here. Isn't that neat how it's already cut out? No, it doesn't come that way. I did it ahead of time to save it. But that's where I took that four inch by three and a quarter inch basic white. And I just went ahead and cut the fish out here. So remember, you can put it on designer paper for it to show through, but I am going to show you how it um, clips out of there. So I'm gonna take shaded spruce ink and thank you. And I'm just gonna stamp this down in the bottom right corner. Okay, so with your paper snips, the only place you really have to snip here you come in here do a little snip there on the head a little snip come around here just kind of snip to that fin right there and then on the belly then you have your fish which is now free floating and you have this piece here so you're going to take this piece your base and you're gonna mount that onto the four and a quarter by three and a half inch shaded spruce. And the reason you're gonna do that is because I want to sponge this. So I really needed this to be off the paper to sponge it so I didn't get everything on my background. So let me just take a little bit of liquid glue. Let me get that little boogie off the end. There we go. And come around and get, make sure you get that piece too so it stays down. And then I will take this and just mount it on here. Now I know it's always good, turn it over in case you have anything on your hands, which if you're stamping, I always say you're not stamping until you're wearing it, so just, just remember that. Okay, now I'm gonna take just a scrap piece of paper. And I'm gonna take the fish, I'll make sure all my little pieces are poked out. I believe they are now. And I'm gonna take Daffodil Delight and my blending brush. And just tap in there. And just put a little bit of that yellow on his belly. Bring it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my pure pizzazz. It's more of a yellowish kind of a green, I think. And I wanna go over his face. It's also a little bit lighter. So I'm bringing a little of that green in there. And I can hit around that yellow. And this is how you get your fish to have color and then we're gonna put it right back where he came from. So there's my pear pizzazz. Now, with the blending brushes, um, I have one for each color group. So I have um, the greens, I have the blues, the reds, and then you just need a microfiber cloth. You can get these, I believe they're in the auto department's um, store. 
Um, this is a Norwex. I have no idea that must have been a gift because I've never shopped them, but anyone will do. Just a microfiber cloth. You just clean it off and it's good to go. So now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of a darker green. I'm gonna use my garden green. Hey, Colleen from Texas and Lori from Hampton. I love how you can all just join in from different parts. You can be in a whole nother city or a whole nother state and come with me while I create. That's so cool. So I'm coming around. So then here I just have a little bit of darker, but now I have the fish the way I want it. You can also at this point take a wink of Stella because you know everything's better with a little bit of shimmer. And this is great for the fish because it's really going to make him pop out on the card. If you don't have Wink of Stella, it's great because it dries instantly and it's no mess at all and it has a beautiful shimmer. I always try to show it to you on the screen, but it's really hard to see, but trust me, it makes a difference. So there I have my fish. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this piece back in and I want these fins to kind of stick up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here and a very little bit on the bottom, on the body. Just enough to have them stay in there. Come through here. And this Tombow liquid glue is extremely strong. It's the other reason I love it. So now I'm just going to put this fish right back in here where I had them. Kind of like a little puzzle piece. I am going to wipe my hands on my jeans. You always want to wear jeans or dark pants when you're stamping. And then I can just go ahead and pop up my fish. So you see these fins. So that really is the front of my card. Now to decorate this, yesterday um, they were available and sadly today they are not. Uh, but we have been advertising the rhinestones, the waves, basic jewels. We have been advertising these for a while, saying that um, they're only available while supplies last. So this is the Waves of Inspiration bundle. This will carry over into the um, new catalog, which is great. It's a fantastic bundle. But all along, the Waves of the Ocean designer paper, the blue foils, and the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels were only while supplies last. Sadly, the blue foils and the rhinestones are gone, but the Waves of the Ocean designer paper is still with us and it's gorgeous. But these were perfect for my card, so I am going to use them anyways. And again, they were here yesterday, so it is what it is. But I have a couple different sizes, and I love they had some greens and hues. I might have a pack. Um, if somebody must have these, I could sell them to you. I believe I have an extra pack. Just private message me. Don't put it in the comments and I will check. And that's, again, not a promise, but I will certainly check. So here I have this piece and it's ready to go. So I will put this aside. Now let's go ahead and create with our stencil. So with the stencil, again, I'll put a little scrap piece down. I am going to go ahead and take the larger of the two so this is my five and a quarter by four inch piece of basic white. And I'm gonna put it on here. And I like to hold my stencils down with either a piece of tape or with washi tape. One of these days, I promise you, I am going to get colored background paper. Every time I'm at the store, I say I'm gonna do that and I forget because it just makes seeing this so easy. I mean, I'm right up on this and um, whew, it's hard to see. White on white. Maybe I'll go with a tan or a light blue. So I just want to make sure when I'm in here, you know, this being more of a geometric design, I just kind of make sure I'm straight at the scallops. Then when I put it down, I will put down some washi tape. Make sure you're not covering your paper, um, but this helps hold it still. So I'll put that here. Now with this one, I used a couple different colors. I actually used Daffodil Delight, garden green, and a little bit of the shaded spruce. So always start with your lightest color first. So I've got Daffodil Delight. And keep in mind too, I don't have to do this whole piece because the majority of it is covered. 
but I'll just come in here. But I love that this is not an exact science. You just make it whatever you want. It's a lot of freedom in that, you know. So I will put this like this. And then you really want to um, wipe this off. I was gonna have a paper towel here, but since I don't, I'll use my microfiber cloth. And the reason you wanna do that is because this ink is a classic ink, it's a water base, and it does not dry on this mask. So if you have ink on the mask, you're gonna keep muddying it up. So I'll just wipe that off. Next, I think I will go to, uh, what did I wanna do? Actually, you know what? Let's come in with a little bit of pure pizzazz. So I can take some pure pizzazz, which just keeps it a little bit light. And here. Okay, now we can go to Garden Green. Scrape that off. Get a little bit darker in here. Get some different hues. La, la, la. Okay. It's really kind of fun. You're not sure when to stop. All right, one more because I can. Let's do Shaded Spruce. And this just kind of brings in the color of the cardstock too. So I wanna go over around my edges, make sure all my edges are on there. And again, I believe I have most of this done. I didn't bother wiping it off because my greens were my greens. But wipe it off. And then to also check it to make sure you have have it everywhere. You can actually just pull it up a little bit. Look at it. I am happy with that. And then I'll just take my washi tape off. Or you could use post-it notes, whatever you have. Just something to hold this masking down. And that is my background. So a lot of fun, very easy to do. So now I'm gonna take that 11 by four and a quarter inch piece of shaded spruce, which I scored at five and a half. I'm just gonna fold it in half. And I will mount my masked piece on that. Hey, Hazel, watching from Florida. Glad you're here. So I have my piece here. I'm gonna take this and I will use my dimensionals so I can have that pop up nicely. There we go. And I will take this, throw my little pieces on the floor. That's how I know how productive I've been during the day. And I will put this on the front. And again, pull your little pieces up so you can see the background. And that is the front of the card. But, I, you know, I just, I really, really love these dies. Because, again, you can do that with the fish. You could do it with the seahorse, which they are such delicate creatures. They have always amazed me. So now for the inside of the card, I will grab that. Five and a quarter by three and three quarters basic white. I'm gonna put this down to save my grid sheet. So with this, I don't know which one, this is better. Here we go. So with this, I'm gonna go back. I want a kind of a brighter green so my fish would stand out. So I am actually gonna take granny apple green. Y'all know green's my favorite color anyway. So if I can incorporate every single green in my card, I am gonna do it. So, and so here, and actually, let me do this first. Let me back up for a minute. For some reason, you know, you know, you know how it happens, but you want to pretend like you don't. My words are slightly crooked on here. And so I am going to stamp my words first before I do all my work and then have to flip it over to get my words right. So I'm going to take the shaded spruce. And sometimes when you're stamping, of course, a stamp -a -jig help, I mean, a stamp -a helps, but I will stamp on a... Um, piece of paper looking at the edge. So see with mine, looks straight, but I have to turn it to the right just a little bit. J 
just to make sure. So when I put it down here, let's see how this does. Yep, I'm happy with that. But since I can have options, let me try again. All right. Which one do I like better? I think I like this one better. And that's why I love stamping because you get two sides to every sheet of cardstock. There are no mistakes in stamping, just opportunities for embellishments. Right, Steph? Stephanie has been with me for a long time, or I have been with her, and um, she is wonderful, and she told me that years and years ago, and I will never forget it. It's so true. I really think, um, think you know, when you do something you don't really care for, that's where creativity really comes in, because you got to save the card. So here, I'm just stamping with that Granny Apple Green down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take these sweet little fish. And they are gonna be swimming by. All right. So with my little fish, kind of get them in and out of there. And that is my inside. Just thought you should know how wonderful you are. I could send this to each and every one of you on this live. So now I'll take this. Y'all know sometimes I tell people it's like getting two cards in one because they never realize how much is stamped on the back. And I will put this in here. And that, my friends, is our card for today. So very easy, again, the mask are a lot of fun. Let me push everything to the side here. And I'm also going to share a little more product with you too. Um, let me do that first while I'm thinking of it. So with this, one of the cards that my friend made, uh, Marianne Grimmer, absolutely adored it. She made this card with the koi fish and I loved it. Now when she did this, I believe she traced the gold background and had to cut that by hand because we don't have one that cuts the entire image out. Uh, but then she used an adhesive sheet on the green fish. And the reason she did that because it would be really hard to glue all these pieces down. With an adhesive sheet, you put your green cardstock right on the sheet so the two are sticking together. You run it through your die cutting machine and then you peel off the back and then it sits on there great. But this is gorgeous. And the paper she used is called Expressions in Ink. And I have to apologize, I never really showed it because it was on back order so many times. It was gorgeous, um, really, really was. And now it is in stock. I just checked all these products right before I came to you live to make sure that they are in stock. So if you wanna order any of them, please don't wait because they are retiring. And you could use this host code right here, ATX. U3VWE, if your order's less than 150. But let me show you that paper real quick, because um, it is a do not miss. It is a specialty paper, and it went along with the artistically inked bundle. So the artistically inked bundle did carry over, but sadly the paper does not. So this was a card. Um, I went to a meeting the other night, and Anna Crosby uh, designed this card for us. You will see this in the future. It's a gift card holder. So your gift card goes in here, but I wanted to show you how awesome this paper is on this card. And I'll show it to you really quick here. It is a specialty paper, so it's a gold foil. And then this here, you might think that's kind of odd, but if you take the paper and cut it this way and make your pieces four by five and a quarter, you can stamp anything in the white image, white area, it is absolutely gorgeous, and you will get six cards per sheet. Same with all of these. Just a cool layout. I think I'm gonna get myself an extra uh, pack of this for my own personal use. And I have this with this, and this is how the flower stamps. It's really, really cool. You have this piece with this, and then who doesn't like a gold foil stripe, which goes with anything, either way. And then that on the background. So please, you know, please get the um, Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper. Put that on your list. 
and I promise you will not be sorry. That is what she used on this card here, along with the gold foil. All right, those other masks I was gonna tell you about. Let me show you those. Way, way cool. So with these masks, again, page 65, butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks. This is up here. I am gonna show you how I created just a couple of these. First, I'll show you how I did the butterfly. So these masks actually work together. It's not just designs, although they have the designs. So these were the designs that are real pretty. So to do your butterfly, first you wanna take, this is what this mask looks like. So you have the open butterfly and then you have the detail down below. So I am going to find my washi tape, here we go. And I'm just gonna tack this here so I got a little piece holding it down. But I'm gonna put my butterfly in here and also use that um, washi tape. Now you have your pieces here, so you kind of have to block them out, which is not a problem. Post-it notes are my favorite friend. So I'm just gonna put the point here, let me see, right there, it's curled up. I can't see where the point is. And I'm covering up this flower here. And then for this butterfly down here, I'm just masking, I'm masking on the mask, how's that? Gonna mask them out. So I will go back with my blending brushes and I'm gonna take that Daffodil Delight and just sponge in here. Just like that. And you could use any color. You could do Highland Heather with a gorgeous grape, make yourself a beautiful purple butterfly. You can go with the blues. Um, have this right in here. Cause I was thinking more of the monarch, but I did the orange, but I probably should have done the brown. I think that's more of a monarch butterfly. So you will take off your mask. Keep in mind you have ink, yellow ink on this mask because it's not gonna dry. So when I pull this off, take that paper towel or anything you've got handy, your sleeve, whatever you have. So there I have my butterfly. Then I'm just gonna take the detail it's hard to see since my header isn't right here. Hold on. I can see it better if I do this. Okay. So I put that down. Get my little pieces here. And I'm gonna do mask the top, just to kind of get that out of the way. So I'll take my microfiber cloth Get that yellow out of there. I'm gonna take the red, which I kind of use for my reds and my oranges. And I'm gonna take pumpkin pie. Where's pumpkin pie? I'm sure it's here. Well, you know what? I kind of did want to see what it looked like in the browns. So, saying that, I am gonna come in with, let me try an early espresso. It's gonna be a little dark, but you know, my mother always taught me nothing ventured, nothing gained. So here, I will take that. And now let's sponge. Here we go. Let's sponge the brown on the yellow and see what we get. If not, I still have the sample. Now, I almost made a mistake. Watch here. And what you wanna do is cover that because you can get off the edge. You don't, you know, especially if this is like in the middle of your card, make sure it's not gonna get there. And then I'll put this here. Let's see. Oh, uh, Stephanie wants to know what the mask is called. Stephanie, these are called the Butterflies and Flowers Laying Decorative Masks on page 65 of the mini catalog. Put this in here. Does anybody still miss the chocolate chip ink we used to have? That was such a yummy color. I really liked it. Early espresso is good too, though. 
All right. Drum roll as we see what I have. Doing things on the cuff either work really well or not. <laughs> so let's see. When I pull all this up. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So here you have your butterfly. And again, this is using um, Early Espresso and Daffodil Delight. And then here I have the same thing using Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. So again, you can see how you can make these any color you want. Now, the flowers. So working with the flowers, those masks here, they're actually, they also are on the same mask. So this is gonna be your lighter background color because your space is bigger. You can see this is very fine detail. This here is gonna be um, the detail, I guess, in the flower when you're looking at this. You wanna do the bigger space with your lighter color, which I am gonna use Flirty Flamingo, and then your darker color, I'm gonna use Melon Mambo. So I do the lighter color first. I am going to take my washi tape, tape this down, take your post-it notes, and come across the top. I'm afraid I might hit that one, so I can just be safe and cover it all. So I will grab my Flirty Flamingo, and, oh my goodness, one day I'm gonna take a picture of everything around me so you can see. You'll be like, what? She creates like that? <laughs> yes, I do. So here I will take um, Flirty Flamingo and just lightly rub it on my, my mask. But the masks are really a lot of fun. So I have that. Can rub that off. Wonder. No, I think that's probably dark enough. Get my edges in there. Okay. So I'll pull these off. Then I'm gonna go to the flowers on the bottom. Now they go, so this is what this looks like. You can see the background like so, and then I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to kind of line it up. So the way I lined it up is kind of with this small flower, and then up here, there are lines in this flower. So I took the little lines on this mask and lined it up with that. All right, close enough counts, right? It does in my world. Okay, so I will put that down. Let me get one more little piece of. Isn't that funny? It's like you try to find the end of your washi tape and you know it's there. Here we go. Okay, good. Lori says she's messy too. So I, you know, it's just what it is. As long as you enjoy yourself and you're happy with what you make, that's all that counts. So here we go. What do they say? I have a um, magnet on my fridge. I think it says creativity is very messy and I'm very creative. So that would be me. Okay, so then when I have these here, I'm gonna come in with the darker, the Melon Mambo. Look at these. And I have to confess, I just started playing with these today, but I think I, these will be used in my stamp club this month. So then when I pull all of this off, ooh, don't you love a good little, uh, wow, what do we say, Stephanie? Ooh, ah. <laughs> When we had our stamp club together and we would do something, I would always say, ooh, and they would say, ah. But you can see how pretty these flowers are. Put a little cinnamon on there and you are done. So that, my friends, 
is our lunch. Again, this is one of the other flowers. You have leaves in that die. And this one will not be going out to the end of June, but remember, they always have that fine print while supplies last. The other two that I showed you, they will be retiring. And they were the ones that are on page 128. Um, the basic patterns and the plenty of patterns right here. So I hope you enjoyed it today. I think we covered a lot of ground. Um, I hope I taught you something. And again, if you want to, if you don't get my newsletter, please request it on my blog at Creating with Colleen. Be sure to use the host code right here if you plan on placing an order. And don't forget, while supplies last means just that. So you don't want to want to waste any time. But I will join you next Wednesday. One of the things I really wanted to do was um, I wanted to do a walkthrough with the catalog of the retiring merchandise. Now I did that last week where I, I showed you, if you haven't seen that, look on my Facebook page here and I did send it in a newsletter. I wanted to show you what is retiring because I don't know about you, but that Excel sheet is just way too hard to follow. But I have lots of samples of retiring product. So it's my goal that if I don't do it before Wednesday, we will do it Wednesday. We'll take another walk through the catalog showing you samples of what is retiring that will inspire you or I will come to you and we will create again because that really is what I love the most. So who knows? Maybe you'll get all of the, all the above. I always like D, all the above. So let me check my comments. Um, ooh, ah, uh, Steph still has it. And um, I want, just want to thank you. So I want to uh, thank you. The host code is ATXU3VWE or creatingwithcolleen.com. But thank you for joining me. I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate your support. Uh, you do my heart good. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Creating with Colleen Magnus. And I will see you next Wednesday as we create again. If there's ever anything I can do for you, please send me a private message or contact me. I'm always here to help. So may God bless you all, and I hope you have a wonderful, creative day. Take care now. Bye-bye.